little tag. See how it goes. So last time we looked at the half wave supply, right? Yep. And the half wave supply's output looked like this. It's like Cecil the C6 Sea Serpent. <laughs> Cecil the C6 Sea Serpent. And then we did yeah, this activity. <laughs> You have to be of a certain age to know where that came from. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> All right. Okay, so we're familiar with that, and one of the things that we said is that that supply wastes half of the energy that's available. Mm -hmm. Right, because it's only using half the waveform. The other half of the waveform that used to be down here is just gone. It's been blocked. It's like, sorry, I know you've got energy, but I'm not letting you in. You're backwards. So we need, we're looking to solve that problem. Instead of using half the waveform, we want to be able to use the full waveform and add these intermediate humps so that we can reduce the amount of ripple. And here's how we're going to do it. need to know what VP is going to be. What will be the voltage across the secondary if I have 120-60 coming in and 14 to 1 turns ratio? get when you get 120 divided by 14? 
8.57. That's RMS, right? Because the voltage out of the thing is not given specifically, it's always RMS. So we need to convert that to peak. So 8 times 1.5 is about 12, so that should be about 12 volts peak. Is that about right? What is it? 12.8. 12.8, perfect. Okay, being that this is a center tap, That's ground, so it's zero volts. So, which way is current going to flow? It's going to get to this point right here. It's going to have to make a decision. Which way are we going to go? What do electrons like? They like positives, don't they? So if I'm sitting here with a choice to go to a positive or go to a negative, which am I going to take? I'm going to go to the positive. And all the electrons that are still in the wire right now we're going to go all back to ground. So there is our complete circuit. Current flows up, flows towards the positive, back to ground. minus plus during the other half of the alternation. We now have minus plus and the current is going to flow through here. This time it will go down towards the plus. The currents in the wire will continue to flow out through ground. Current flows up through the load, makes a decision flows this way. Two diodes, only one being used at a time. What do you notice about the current flowing through the load? Same direction. Same direction. So that means then that we're going to get this. One here, one here, one here, and one there. Same direction, same polarity. What will be the voltage here? 12.8? Nope. At any given point, how much of that secondary or the set, the right hand half of that transformer are we actually using? Half. Half. So we're actually only going to ever get 6.4 minus the 0.7 or about 5.7 volts. And if we tag along a capacitor, we can get rid of some of that ripple.
So the advantage of this supply is that we are using all of the waveform. But, and oh, what a big but it is. We're also only using half of the available voltage. So once again, we're leaving half of the available energy at the table. First one we looked at used the whole voltage, but only half the waveform. This one uses the whole waveform, but only half the voltage. So, you know, pick your poison. Which one do you want to lose? The advantage of this one is it has a smoother DC level with the same circuit values. The advantage of the other one is you have more, a higher voltage with more ripple. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a solution that didn't have either of those problems? Yeah. Of course, of course I wouldn't be asking that question if it wasn't. So let's look at that one. Before we do, any questions on how this works? It's really fairly simple. It's just either one way or the other way. So nothing really new here. Anybody? All right, we'll keep our transformer, but that's all we're keeping for the time being. And actually, I'll just keep half. Okay, now we're going to create a bridge. One, two, three, four dots. This is on the final exam questions. Draw a full wave bridge. And a lot of people get it wrong because they forget one simple thing. All the diodes point in the same direction. One, two, they're all pointing to the right. Three, this guy over here gets grounded. This guy over here goes to our resistor. minus 14 to 1. They can also point to the left, but if you do that, then you get negative voltage. Polarity changes. So we'll keep them to the right. So plus to minus gives me plus to minus over here. As per usual, current flows up through the load. and arrives at this point right here. Which way will it go? Up. Up? Why? It will go to the positive. Absolutely, it will go up towards the positive. The current that's already in the wire will do what? Come down here, and when it gets to this point, it can't go that way. It can only go this way because this diode is the only one that's in the right direction. So it goes up through and to ground. During the negative portion, we have a negative here, positive here. 
Same deal as last time. Current comes up through the load, makes the other decision. Goes to the positive, current in the wire, forced out this way. Again, everything is going in this direction. So before, what did we have for our, was it 5.7 or 10.4? Was it 10.4? 12.8. So we have 12.8 volts peak. Is that what we had? Yeah. Okay. So our output is then going to be what? It's going to be staggered like it was before. We have one blue one and one red one. We know we're doing full wave rectification because we have current flowing through the load, same direction both halves. What will our peak voltage be? All right, so when we was interrupted, we was trying to figure out what the peak voltage was going to be, right? Mm -hmm. Would it be full? Would it be the same as the last time? Well, we don't have a center tap this time. No, yeah, it would be full voltage, wouldn't it? It'd be pretty much full voltage. So what number should I put here? Like around probably 12.1. 12.1? That's a good guess. It's incorrect, though. But I know where it came from. Where does your 12.1 come from? The, the, the 0.7. Lost the 0.7, right? Mm -hmm. But follow the current. Where's the current going? Straight, oh, it'd be 12.8, straight to the ground. 12.8, right? but look at where the current goes. It goes through not one, but two, two diodes. Oh. Right? So, like so you're actually going to lose 1.4 volts. So 12.8 well, becomes 11.4. Why would it be 1.4? 2 times 0.7. Oh. One for each diode. Every time it goes through a diode, it loses 0.7. Ooh. Remember the tax. We'll write that down. It's not unusual. We get taxed on the same money twice all the time. Why not have it in a circuit? Mm. But if you look at the line, you can see it goes through this diode, around through here, and then through this diode. So both colors go through two diodes. So you're going to have 12.8 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7, which is what, 11.4? Yes. So this one uses the peak, uses the full voltage and the full waveform, minus that extra diode. So yes, we lose an extra 0.7 of a volt with this circuit, but we're using almost all of the energy that we have available. What is this one called again? This one is called And actually, they are used so often that you can purchase, and I believe we might have some around here. You can purchase a, it's really like an integrated circuit that has a bridge built into it. it has one, two, three, four points that match the four points of the bridge, so you can the diodes are built into the substrate, already done. And you can actually purchase this entire power supply that comes in a cube 
about that big. There are some around here, I don't know where they are with the move and everything, they're orange. And they have an input for the 12060 and an output for the output voltage, and that's it. So this is really more like the best of both worlds. But it isn't perfect. We're not going to get the same amount of power at the load that we put in here because we're going to lose some like we talked about the heat and other things. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. How much longer do we have to go through this? <laughs> I don't know. The college calendar said 10 to 10.30. Whoa. Mm. Well, we started at late, so technically it's what time is it? 10.30? Well, all right. Get it done. We're done, right? We should be done. If it started. Now, how I don't know why they don't have a calm thing, though. Hey, yeah. people, are, people are like... <laughs> But the, how are you gonna send a message? If there was an active shooter, you just gonna send a message through the building? Hey, this is it? You don't, you don't get the message. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. They texted you earlier. Really? Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah they my, just. My yeah. Guns already smoked though. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they already got dropped. They didn't know. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know. We didn't get that message. <laughs> 